Hello everyone. Today, we will be starting a new series, which focuses on using Comfy UI as an effective tool for the architectural design processes. In this first video, we will explore integrating Comfy UI with Rhino 3D, how to produce detailed conceptual sketch visuals from a raw 3D model. If you are starting to learn Comfy UI, Please check out our previous videos that explain what Comfy UI is and what are the important nodes and models for us to use. So we have the workflow in here, but firstly let's go to Rhino 3D to see the 3D modeling. As we can see this is a raw 3D model that we experiment with during the initial design phases in relation to contextual parameters. The 3D model here is too basic and needs visual refinements and post-production processes for us to showcase and present. And that's what we are utilizing Comfy UI for. We will firstly take a screenshot from Rhino 3D and locate the image location. Then going back to Comfy UI, this is the workflow, it is available on Patreon. We have set the image here by dragging and dropping it. The checkpoint model is the Juggernaut SDXL model available to download from Civit AI. Here we have the most important part of the workflow, which is the prompt and control net models. Make sure that your prompt describes what you want to express through your designs such as emphasizing specific architectural elements, materials and other elements. Here we have the control net nodes, we are using the depth and line art models. We have here an optional IP adapter node that we will use later. Let's run an initial process. As we can see, this is now conceptually expressive, although it may have some scale problems, to avoid that, it is better to express the scale of the building within the prompt as well. Let's change some part of the prompt, we will write, glass curtain walls, to make sure that the output have such architectural elements. Here is the other output, we can notice the glass elements being integrated now. Let's try the IP adapter. We have set this image as a style reference for the output. As we can see, the output clearly showcases elements and color schemes similar to the image reference. You can right-click on the output node open image, then saving it. Overall, this workflow helps us to produce meaningful design visual to present, refine, and further develop our design concepts. That's it for today, hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and support us for more content. Thank you.